Hey guys, personal defense, and I have the Beretta 92FS here in front of us. And this video is going to be a short video, and it's going to be a video on why I don't like the Beretta 92FS. Now, I guess I should specify, I'm not denying that this is a quality firearm, and I'm not denying that it's a great firearm, and it's a classic one, and it has very, you know, a lot of good features to it. I'm talking about one specific thing on why I don't like this Beretta, and I guess I should say I don't why I don't like it for carry. And um, let's just do a safety check here. Okay, the Beretta 92FS, and actually every Beretta pistol that I've ever dealt with, they have decockers, and I don't really, I know some other pistols might have decockers, but I don't really know which one's offhand right now. I know the PX4 does, because I had that one for a while, but let me just show you here, um, the safety is off, and the hammer is back, and if you put the safety on, it decocks the pistol. Also, the safety's on, so, you know, nothing can be fired. Uh, sounds like a great... And then, if you want to fire it, click the safety off. Now, you can either pull the hammer back, or you can have a big double-action pull to fire it. Now, that sounds great, you know, for maybe range purposes, or whatever what may have you but if you were pulling this pistol when seconds count and I know this is the pistol that some police officers and law enforcement agencies carry I don't understand how the decocking system helps that and maybe I'm wrong and maybe I just don't know this pistol well enough so if you have any ideas feel free to comment on how I'm wrong because I'm sure people will but here's, here's my idea on why I don't like this pistol. Let's pretend that the magazine is full. And let's pretend that I just chambered a round. It's empty, of course. But let's pretend there's a round. I'm hot, so to speak. Now, since usually you don't want to carry, you know, safety off... I mean, I guess this pistol you do have to carry. But let's say you want to carry with the safety on, one in the pipe. Okay, let's put the safety on with one in the pipe. Now it's decocked. The hammer is down. But the safety's on, and I have one in the pipe. So I'm going to put this in my holster, and I'm going to go about my business doing whatever I need to do. Now, let's say I have a threat or something happens. I have to pull this pistol out unclick the safety and now I have this huge double action pull to fire this thing that just doesn't make sense to me how so an example of what I'm talking about is how I think this should function or have the option to function that way is a 1911 or since I don't have a 1911 handy I have this uh, star 30M pistol uh, this is also a 9mm, this is also a hammer fire, and this also has an external safety. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's pretend that magazine I just put in there was loaded, and let's pretend I just chambered around. Safety off. Hammer back. Okay, this thing is ready to fire. Now, I want to put, or I want to carry this, but I want to have the safety on, so I click the safety on. The hammer stays back, as it would in a 1911. Now, if I come across a situation or something where I have to deploy this pistol, I can pull it out of the holster, safety off, and boom, I'm ready to fire with my single action pull. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could put the safety on with one in the pipe, 
And what the safety actually does is it recesses the firing pin there. See how it pulls them in there? So I can recess the firing pin and decock it myself just like that. Now I'm carrying this like a freaking Beretta. So I would have to pull it, click the safety off, and have a big long double action pull. I prefer the function of this or a 1911 to the function of this with its decocker. I understand um, it was there was all kinds of safety regulations and safety rules that this needed to meet, but I wish it had the option or they allowed you to buy the pistol with the option of having a, uh, I guess I would call that an automatic decocker. I wish it had a manual decocker because I guess I would call this a manual decocker. So, you know, your options are you can carry this decocked, one in the pipe, then safety off and double action pull it. You can carry it one in the pipe, hammer back, no safety on. Or you can carry it um, safety off and half cock, so to speak, which basically just keeps the hammer off the firing pin so there's no accidental fire. But with this, you still have a double action pull if you deploy it. So now having said all that, let me say this. I think this is a great uh, nine millimeter pistol. You know, it has a lot of good features. It has a lot of safety features. Example, the decocker. It also has a firing pin block, meaning if the safety's off and the hammer should fall for whatever reason, it will not fire unless this little block right here, see how it starts to raise up and then it's up all the way there? It will not fire unless that block is all the way up, which only happens when the trigger is pulled all the way. This is a double action or single action pistol. And it's, you know, it's a Beretta 92 FS. It's a great quality pistol. It's been proven. I'm just saying that I do not like the decocker for carry purposes or self-defense purposes.